Yes, you probably know what I'm thinking. How many more of these goddamn movies do we have to sit through? Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Trail Ash Trailers. My name is Kenny Kynes, and I'll only review movie trailers, because let's be honest, if you can't handle me at my worst, that's it. It doesn't really get any better. Hey, this episode, we take a look at Thor Ragnarok, the third movie in Marvel's acclaimed Prophet Cycle trilogy. So much has happened since I last saw you. I lost my hammer, like yesterday, so that's still pretty fresh. And then I went on a journey of self-discovery. Where I met you. I'm not gonna lie, this trailer got me excited. I know it got you excited, right? It, ha it has everything. It has the 80s retro titles. It's got the uh, curated rock soundtrack. It's got bright colors. It's got wacky characters. I swear to God, the next Marvel movie will just be a CGI pinball machine on screen for two fucking hours. And I mean, everybody is excited about this trailer. Even James Gunn, the director of Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2, said that this was the finest and best trailer that Marvel has ever put out. But conversely, Tim Gunn also said that it was Marvel's worst dressed trailer. This movie deals with Ragnarok as stated in the title. If you don't know what Ragnarok is, it's the end of the Asgardian world. It's where all the gods basically die, right? But a lot of people don't know this. Actually in the MCU universe though, a lot of the Asgardians survive and now they move to Earth and gentrify Wakanda. A cupcake bar is not a sustainable business model. Why does ramen cost $30 a bowl now? How many packs did you put in here, man? This don't taste like shrimp, V. This does not taste like, and why are all these vegetables in here? I would've ordered a salad if I wanted a salad, right? This will be the third Marvel movie this year and the 17th in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, making this franchise almost old enough to buy cigarettes, have its voting rights suppressed, and have consensual relations with a sexy, sexy teacher. I don't, I don't know how to wink, so, so there's that. Now, a lot of our less inclined comic book fans, or as we like to call them here, dumb reviewers, uh, might not know that a lot of these comic book trailers are always chock full of Easter eggs and fun surprises. So strap on kids, cause you know what time it is. Here's your first fact. Uh, the hammer in this movie is actually portrayed by MC Hammer which is funny because both of them end up broke. Oh! Here's another fun fact. Uh, this is probably for more of our hardcore comic book fans. Before joining the Avengers, both the Thor and Hulk were project managers of the bowling. This is <laughs> Here's another fun, albeit tragic fact. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but Jeff Goldblum, who plays the Grand Master in the movie, was repeatedly kicked off set as they cannot stop him from screaming out, where's Wes Anderson? Oh look, here's another fun fact. The character of Thor is actually based on the God of Thunder from Norse mythology? The very same one, also known as Thor. Mito! Kate Blanchett also stars in this movie as Hela, the Asgardian God of Death. She looks like she's ready to wreck shit in this movie. She looks really good, but fortunately she'll only be making 60% of what a male villain would make. Uh, actually guys, in Hulk 451, Volume 1, the glass ceiling was retconned to adamantium. Shut up, nerd! Also looks like Thor finally got a haircut, and I'm glad, because no deity should be walking around with hippie hair down to his shoulders. Look at that. That's Johnny Unitas. Now that's a haircut I would sacrifice virgins to. You hear that, Vishnu? Now, if you haven't been following the marketing for this movie, the director, Taika Waititi, has been making several funny short films depicting Thor uh, living on Earth in an apartment with a roommate named Daryl. And uh, here we are. You know, it's, it's, it's a nice flat, as you can see, and uh, we, we get along well. Yeah, I guess I just wanted to be around uh, average, everyday people. And Daryl is a, an average, sort of, everyday guy. So, it works out well. See guys, just like you, plays Xbox, has a roommate, ripped, tanned, has abs, absolutely crushes the shit out of pussy while slamming a Baja Blast, and your mom just kicked her boyfriend out. So there you have it. 
Thor Ragnarok, right? 17th movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe with more coming up. Is it too much with every studio now doing a shared movie universe? Hey, let us know in the comments. And as always, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like. That really helps us out. Until next time, please enjoy.